Hello, my name is William Rogal, and this is my speech for Dr. Neil Haldane's Writing 1020 class at Madonna University. I'm hoping the Trump administration gives my proposed rule serious consideration to help end school shootings. How much is your life worth? 10,000? 100,000? How about a million? Well, one single school shooting added up to nearly $200 million. But what if I told you a simple rule issued by Health and Human Services along with the Department of Education and mandating two diagnostic tools could not only save hundreds of millions of dollars, but more importantly, save lives. Maybe even yours. Do our schools need to be fortresses? Do we need to ban semi-automatic weapons? Should we march in the streets and scream at each other? No, but we do. Instead, let's end this nightmare with one proposed rule. One rule that would respect our rights as American citizens. The Fifth Amendment requiring due process. The Fourth Amendment requiring reasonable cause for government seizure of property. And protects everyone's Second Amendment rights. Now who is the subject of this rule? The subject is the school shooter in Potentia, a murderer in waiting. Helping that one person can save millions of dollars and countless lives with just one proposed rule. That one person should be society's upfront investment for only a couple thousand dollars and require the involvement of our mental health or juvenile court system. There is a brain imaging tool called a SPEC scan and there is a mental health tool called a psychological evaluation. Dr. Daniel Amen, a pioneer in the use of SPECT brain imaging, found that when these two are combined, they have resulted in nearly an 80% change in either diagnosis or treatment plan. The American Psychiatric Association issued standardized guidelines to evaluate individuals. Those are personality-based assessments and can depict behaviors outside the normal bell curve of acceptable personality traits. The SPECT results give us a biological reason why that person exhibits behaviors outside the norm a medical reason for their instability. Dr. Peter Langman, a psychologist and expert on school shootings, founded the site School Shooters. He noted that every single mass shooter displayed a mental health deviation. David Altamari learned that more than $45 million went to Newtown, Connecticut since the 2012 Sandy Hook Elementary shooting and published his findings in the Hartford Quran. The cost of funerals, Lawsuits, investigations, and unimaginable heartache are not included in this tally. How does one even measure that total cost? You can't. It's immeasurable. But this true national security threat and millions of dollars could be significantly reduced, if not eliminated, by implementing my proposed student safety early intervention rule. SIR for short. The SIR is a series of checks and balances that will be a uniform protocol that is controlled at the local level in every school district nationwide. Let's take a closer look at SIR and the worst case scenario. When a troubled student is sent to a school counselor, an informal risk assessment is done through their office. This is pretty much standard procedure nationwide, but the outcome for each varies greatly, some with deadly results. If the counselor thinks the student needs further assessment, Based on repeated aggressive actions, the parents are notified and a motion is filed in the courts. Now, involving the courts is a key component in the checks and balances. If parents do not agree to further evaluation, the, student, the school files a motion and the judge appoints a guardian ad litem to represent the student and report progress to the court. Per William Lancet Esquire, a guardian ad litem on several high-profile cases in Michigan. The evaluation results presented would be a comprehensive report merging a standardized psychological evaluation and the SPEC scan results. This report would offer a diagnosis and a treatment plan. A SPECT is basically an image of a functioning brain. Let's say you broke your leg. You get an x-ray for your broken leg. Your treatment for your broken leg would be a cast and crutches, right? Well. A healthy brain will look like a smooth melon 
while an unhealthy brain of a mass shooter or mass murderer could look lumpy or have holes where there is evidence of no blood flow. There is a medical, a biological reason for that person's broken brain. The psychological evaluation alone presents a behavioral label. Let's take depression for example. A SPECT image will reflect the areas of the brain for depression, but the medication to treat it can be dramatically different based on the SPECT results. Dr. Langman noted one of the Columbine shooters actually became worse on his prescribed meds. SPECT has an added benefit by taking away the moral and often shameful label of a psychiatric condition, instead showing a medical reason for their brain dysfunction and troubling thoughts. People who see the medical evidence and a plan toward healing show greater compliance with treatment. Now in those rare cases where a patient will not comply, the court would issue an order of non-compliance and would notify law enforcement to secure all firearms in that person's residence as well as notify the Department of Justice to flag that person in the Firearm Transaction Record Database, commonly referred to as NICS. This would prevent the purchase of any subsequent firearms. You can save a life. You can save countless lives. Your call might help heal a brain and save millions of dollars. Please join me and call Surgeon General Jerome Adams on 202 205 one Four, three, and urge him to review my proposal and issue the Student Safety Early Intervention Rule. Thank you.